COVID cases surge again. The University of Utah is teaming up with Johns Hopkins University to learn more about treating patients while they have the virus. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, researchers are looking for volunteers who are sick right now. Jed? Exactly, Dini. For this study, the University of Utah researchers need people who tested positive for COVID within the last few days. They want to gather more detailed data on convalescent plasma, which is a very promising treatment. Case rates went down right in the U.S. and now they're clearly coming in, uh, back up. COVID-19 is spreading rapidly again, mainly among unvaccinated people. Nationwide, COVID cases nearly doubled this week and hospitalizations rose by a third, mainly driven by the Delta variant. Dr. Emily Spivak, one of the researchers at U of U Health, tells me they want more data on how well convalescent plasma works. Could it uh, shorten symptoms um, of COVID in people who are infected acutely uh, or prevent them from progressing to severe infection and needing hospitalization? Plasma is the part of our blood with antibodies and proteins that help fight infection. There's really very few um, effective therapies for COVID-19 and clearly, unfortunately, this pandemic is not going away or not going away quick, quickly. So we still need to know if there's other therapies to treat people as this goes on. Researchers need people 18 and up who recently tested positive for COVID, still have at least one symptom, were not hospitalized, and had the symptoms for no more than seven days. Several months ago, researchers were optimistic that vaccination rates would be higher, protecting more people from hospitalization and death. But now, so we still need effective treatments because until everyone really, you know, rolls up their sleeve and gets vaccinated, we're going to need treatment. So people recently diagnosed with COVID can contact researchers at COVID plasma study at hsc.utah.edu to take the enrollment questionnaire. But if too many days go by, you may not qualify. We also put a link to that email address at ksltv.com.